We have big queer news to cover this week, including COVID-19 and HIV concerns. A judge just paused a Trump policy that may affect us all. Plus, a church just walked away from their affiliation with their denomination, and you won't believe why they did it. I'm Josh Robbins. This is LGBTQ Health Headlines, presented by ONAN. Thank you for watching. This episode of LGBTQ Health Headlines presented by ONAN is sponsored by Tennessee Homegrown, your one-stop shop for creative cannabis products. To enjoy a 20% discount, please use ONAN during the checkout. COVID-19 has affected all of us, whether or not we have contracted coronavirus, known someone that has and hopefully recovered, or known people that have been or still are hospitalized, or even some that may have passed away. Few of us were actually ready or even knew what to do with the fear surrounding the virus. People living with other health conditions, rightfully so, are all worried how it might affect them, including those living with HIV. Recently, the HIV Medical Association published an updated guide for people living with HIV concerning COVID-19 considerations. In their updated report, the top infectious disease doctors reiterate, there are no data indicating that people living with HIV will get sicker than people without HIV or will have worse outcomes. But they caution until more data are available, heightened awareness for severe disease should be considered for persons with HIV. They continue their updated report by saying, consultation with an HIV or infectious disease specialist is strongly recommended for people with HIV who are hospitalized for the treatment of COVID-19. And so what do you do if you actually find yourself hospitalized? They recommend to continue HIV antiretroviral therapy as prescribed without interruption. For more COVID-19 coverage, visit our special section at outandaboutnashville.com. Now learn more about this week's sponsor. And here are this week's LGBTQ health headlines. A federal judge placed a hold on a Trump administration rule that allows health care providers to refuse services to queer people on religious grounds. Crazy. Bloomberg Law reports in a preliminary injunction issued Wednesday, U.S. District Judge in Washington said the administration failed to consider how the rule would affect access to care given substantial evidence that it would cause LGBTQ patients to fear discrimination at the hands of religiously affiliated providers. Well, that's great news. Next, a new report called Breaking Barriers to Quality Mental Health Care for Queer Youth finds that while the majority of these young people want access to mental health treatment, many don't receive it. Why? The report of the survey said that barriers such as cost, parental permission and stigma stand in the way. The research published last week was conducted by the Trevor Project, a national organization focused on suicide prevention among queer teenagers and young adults. A Georgia congregation said last week that it has finalized its split from the United Methodist Church after the denomination's really divisive vote last year to strengthen bans on same-sex marriage and ordination of LGBTQ pastors. And they are against the Methodist Church's ban. So they just said, girl, bye. Well, isn't that refreshing, finally? Churches standing up for equality. That's a great thing. So good luck to them. Don't forget this week's sponsor, Tennessee Homegrown. They have a special 20% discount for all of our viewers. The discount code is ONAN. I'm Josh Robbins, and this was LGBTQ Health Headlines, presented by ONAN. Ciao.